Hey guys, me host Superzoro, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got some stuff. We've been shopping, but I didn't get much footage while I was out shopping. We didn't get a lot because we didn't really go very far. We just went to Smith's and then went around the local sort of centres. So I didn't really get too much stuff and too, sorry, too much uh, vlog footage. So what I'll do is I'll play the quick toy hunt footage I've got for you right here. <laughs> today's video I just want to give these people a subscriber shout out thank you very much for being awesome subscribers and for tuning in on this awesome journey I thank you all so guys let's jump straight in I've been shopping I've been to uh, Asda Morrison's and I've been to Smith's and I've got some mail stuff so first of all at Smith's the carbonized jet trooper number 99 in the collection is now available he is available at your local Smith stores in the UK, and it is the carbonized version. <laughs> Looks awesome. Can't wait to review this. Going to be reviewing it real soon. Like I said, it's number 99 in the collection. There's Superstar Junior bouncing around. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so this is the specialized Stormtroopers of the First Order. Jet Troopers soar into battle equipped with agile rocket packs. So that's pretty sick. Got that one. Can't wait to review, like I said. <laughs> Next up guys, well I was also in Smith's, they now have the Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is a special edition Funko Pop vinyl, I will be giving this a review. It is number 518 in the collection. And just to make things better, it's got an awesome, awesome see-through head on there for the Ghost Rider. It looks like it lights up, uh, but it doesn't, but it looks like it could. And you know what the best part is? It's got baby Thanos! He's got baby Thanos! It's the weirdest thing ever, but I love it. Awesome, awesome. If they don't make this into a figure, which I think did it, hang on, did we not see that a while back actually with Squirrel Girl and stuff? I hope it has a baby Thanos. <laughs> Next up, guys, I went to Asda, and Asda had the Dark Phoenix. Uh, but this is sorry, this is just the Phoenix, but it's the Glow in the Dark Special Edition version. I haven't seen this before. Um, I have got a Dark Phoenix kicking about somewhere that I got ages ago when I was in Skegness. I picked that up at their local, I think it was B&M or Home Bargains, one or the other. But this is number 422 in the collection, and it's the special edition one as well. I think, I think this is probably only available at your Asda's. Uh, it glows in the dark, so interesting. Again, I'll probably give that one a full review. I'm intrigued. I want to do a lot of pop reviews, because I really do love my pops. And then... Uh, I've got some jumpers and clothes and things to show you as well that are all geeky and Star Warsy and stuff like that, but I'll show those last. Uh, but I did get those from Asda as well. Morrison's have started stocking Stormtrooper Pale Ale. Um, I know this is a random thing to show on a toy channel, but I, you know I love my drink, I love my beer. <clears throat> so join the corps. Join the corps. Join the corps. Taste the galaxy. <laughs> The Stormtroopers Galactic Pale Ale and it's Spacecraft Beer. So a Galactic Pale Ale or Hoppy Aromatic Session Ale with bright citrus flavours, aromas of grapefruit, pine and herbs, followed by a soft bitterness of unearthly tones. <laughs> I'll give that a whirl, it's 4.2% for a can. And uh, these were on 4 for 6. Again, a little bit on the expensive side, but 4 for 6 and it's, it's a Stormtrooper beer, come on, it's a lot of fun. It's just for a giggle. Then we got some Loot Crate. I, I know, Loot Crate? What? <laughs> Didn't even know this was coming, guys. Didn't even know this was coming. Uh, but I do have a Loot Crate. Um, so I might save that for an individual video. There's some cool stuff in here. 
yeah, I'll probably save that for its own video. So we do have that as well. I'll review that in the coming days. Speaking of reviewing things in the coming days, look what's arrived, guys, courtesy of Comics and Cocktails. Yeah, this is the X-Force Deadpool from the MCM Comic Con. I'm going to give these a little open. But don't worry, I will be doing full reviews on the channel of these. They come in really nice, cool little boxes. When you open it up. Yeah. The uncanny Deadpool. This is X-Force attire as well, and it's retro packaging style. Can't wait to open this. Yes, I am opening them. 80 years of Marvel exclusive. It's just an awesome figure. Can't wait to own to, to physically open this. There's a little bit of me that wants to buy a separate Deadpool, like a second one, just to keep Mint on card. Because Deadpool is my favourite character. It's like if they released a Gambit like that, I'd buy two of them. Because I love Gambit. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be opening these. So stick around the channel in the coming days. I will be giving them an open. The Marvel Legends, man. Marvel Legends are made for opening. Why won't that go back in the way it went in? Oh, I don't have to go in backwards. There we go. So that's the uh, the Deadpool, and it comes in a nice fancy Deadpool box as well, which I like. And then the second one. Yeah, you guys can get it, but from the size of the box, I'm holding up the Incredible Hulk. This is the Grey Hulk. Again, Comic Con exclusive. This leaked out ages ago, I think on Has you know, like Hasbro Mexico or something. It leaked out ages ago, people were dying for it, and it was another convention exclusive. Here in the UK, it was at London Comic Con. You look at the size of that thing. I'm going to have to get the, uh, the other Green Hulk out that we got from the Marvel Legends collection and see if it is the same one repainted and stuff. It's got the same like orange jacket and things, just the other one was white, so I'm intrigued. It does have a crushed pipe as well, which is awesome. But yeah, absolutely beast of a figure. Can't wait to open that. So go again, thank you to Natalie Ullman from Comics and Cocktails. I really appreciate that for getting those to me so speedily. And then finally, people, let's just move on to the dodgy, the dodgy Christmas jumper collection. So this is Merry and Bright from um, Star Wars collection. It's called Merry and Bright, and it's from George, which is from Asda here in the UK. I'm not sure if you have that, if it's still classed as George in the United States, but it being probably might, it might have the same jumpers in your local Walmart, and it lights up. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Christmas is definitely coming. They did release this one last year, if I remember it, but it was in red. The same one, but in red, I'm sure, because I've got it in my wardrobe. Uh, but this is a nice grey one, and they have large sizes in these, which I'm happy about. You know I struggle to find clothes, guys, but they seem to have, in the Christmas col uh, 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 collection at least, bigger sizes. They also had this Star Wars jumper as well. This was £16. Again, I know, there are, I know the prices are a little bit crazy, but... It's Christmas, and obviously I want some geeky Christmas wear, and this is awesome. This is probably going to be the one that I go see the movie in, to be honest. Love it. And then for, for Christmas Day itself, it's always nice to wear something new and fresh on Christmas Day. So I'm going to go for... <laughs> this uh, lovely polo shirt, which is candy canes and gingerbread man. And again, they have it in large sizes, and this was just... Uh, I think this was £10 for this one. It's not too bad. And then finally, guys, the final one I picked up today was Winner Winner Christmas Dinner. Just a basic t-shirt, four pound at your local Asda. I thought I'd use this over Christmas. It's kind of, it reminds me, obviously, I know it's Winner Winner ch Chicken Dinner, but this is Winner Winner Christmas Dinner. Obviously with Fortnite and stuff, using that phrase quite regular. You might get away with that as a geeky t-shirt, like Fortnite-ish over Christmas is what I thought. But guys, what are your thoughts on this haul and stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. What item are you most excited to see me review on the channel? Let us know in the comments. As always, guys, I'm your host, Super Zoro. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!